Right. Oh, and it if you got well, motion sick too, you'd just be spraying puke all over the place. I have made some crazy projects over the years. Some of them I've done for work, a few I've done just for myself. But my favorite part has always been the brainstorm, where you take these crazy ideas and fantasies and you figure out how to really make them work. Uh, today, I have a guest, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Hello. Goes online by Platinum Fungi. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan makes um, props and custom Nintendos and, and cool stuff like that. Check the link in the description below to see his beautiful work. Um, I've had people ask me if I could do the Morph Ball from Metroid. Oh, wow. I, yes. I, you know, Metroid's one of my favorite games ever, the original. Uh -huh. Mine too. And when I bring it up, people will say, you know, could you do the Morph Ball or could you do the Arm Cannon? And we'll talk about Arm Cannons another time. Right, right. But let's talk about the Morph Ball. Okay. All right, so first, uh, what is the Morph Ball? Uh, the Morph Ball is the version of the power suit that Samus can transform into where she basically turns into a ball and she rolls around on the ground. She turns into a ball, she rolls around on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, so the short answer is no. Oh. It's physically impossible to build a morph ball because the ball is smaller than Samus. Right. I mean, re in yeah. the later versions, the yeah, ball is like, like the size of one of her shoulders. Yes. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> um, there's no way. So the short answer is no, but the long answer is heck yeah. I could build a morph ball, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I think it's really fun to start to think about being in a ball that's rolling around that you can actually transform into anything. But I mean, just being in the ball rolling around, I would really like to do. So yeah. I, I think we should explore. So here's the goal. Okay. Uh, to be able to go from walking around mm -hmm. to rolling in a ball. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. In a suit, in real life. Sounds okay. good. All right. Person. And we have uh, a ball. Now, obviously, our ball is going to have to be oversized oversized enough for a person to fit in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, you take fiberglass and you make basically a sphere this size. You can mm -hmm. curl into a ball. You make basically a sphere this size. You cut it. Uh, let's, let's switch colors here. You cut it. Do, 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 and you end up with these shapes. Now, obviously, this is um, way out of proportion, but you end up with these shapes to where whenever you're standing up, you have kind of a articulated shell on your body, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I realize this is going to look ridiculous um, but you could pull it off theoretically so that whenever you curled up you'd make a ball and now are we wanting are we actually going to have the ball where we can move or roll or is it just a stationary ball is is the objective of the project just to be able to go from a suit of some sort to a ball of some sort well, I would think ideally you'd want it to be able to roll because yeah. I mean it already looks ridiculous. Right. You gotta you gotta wow some people somehow. Right. Okay. But first, we have some issues with this. You've built costumes before, and you mm -hmm. know that if you do a bunch of plates like this, mm -hmm. they're not gonna fit back together. Right. Okay. So you need something to fill the the gaps here. These these voids between, like, your head and mm -hmm. the sphere and all that to get it to be the right. So whenever you curl up, they're all in the right position. Right, and, and I have to lock together somehow yeah. too, that they won't come apart while you're rolling. So locking together, I propose you put little magnets, little like uh, rare earth magnets that are super strong. Mm -hmm. And then to fill this gap, I think foam, like mm -hmm. like maybe even expanding foam, like theoretically, <laughs> theori <laughs> theoretically. Power suit 1.0. So this would be this would be extremely dangerous. Yeah. But you could. Make a fiberglass sphere, mm -hmm. sit somebody in it, mm -hmm. cover them in like cellophane, <laughs> put a breathing tube out, uh -huh. and then pump that sucker full of expanding foam, and then cut them out, and wow. you would have bits that were formed wow. perfectly. Wow. Well, I mean, that would kind of be like just, yeah, making a, 
an accurate mold of whatever part of you know someone's body or whatnot. I mean, this is obviously kind of unique, but it's the same premise, right? Yeah, I mean, we could you could do molds. You could do it smarter than than, than this ridiculous death trap. Well, you could be the test subject. Yeah, yeah. But then also, okay, so let's just say that all works. How are we actually going to be able to move? Like at first, I was thinking, you know, if you had some type of a uh, you know, a, a track in the center and, and some type of a little joystick or something that once you were inside or, or some, you know, electronic or motor, but all these components then would have to be built onto the suit. Like, what, what are your thoughts on, you know, because if you're in this tight little ball and you can't really see, uh, are we having some type of a powered movement or is it just literally you're trying to... <laughs> like like to, in Transformers to, when they run to roll? and they like jump in the air and then they... Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would work. I, here's... Hmm. An idea keeps popping into my head on this one. Uh -huh. um, that would be a gyroscopic rolling mechanism. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the gyroscopic drive mechanism, you have... Uh, you have a weighted cylinder, okay? This is heavy. This is like 10 pounds. And down this center axis, somehow, you have a motor. So we'll put a motor here. Now, the way this works is this is spinning super fast, and this will resist any movement this way, up and down. Right, like if you spin a, a bike wheel mm -hmm. and try to turn it, mm -hmm. same thing. But it, this is super heavy. This is like ten pounds. Okay. Okay, and I'm thinking like, you know, this big around, like a foot across or something. But then this whole thing has to be. Um, so you got your central axis, which of course has an axle on it, and this axle is attached to a frame. And then this frame on this axis has a motor out here. And this motor is actually what you're holding on to with a grip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this whole thing could be encased. Mm -hmm. So it'd be safer. So this is free spinning and you have a grip out here. And your hands go like on this grip. It's a morph ball within a morph ball. It kind of is, right? And then whenever you fire it up and you hit this button and this wants to go this way, this fights against it and this outer one moves. And if your ball is round enough, then mm -hmm. you roll. Mm -hmm. And so you're literally thinking this would just kind of go, man. Yeah, like be between your legs and, and kind of like right in front of your stomach, between your legs, maybe your hands would go on the outside of your legs. Or, <laughs> I like, don't know. Man, it'd it, be tight. I think it would end up looking like a like a monkey effing a football. But but if that's inside, <laughs> but if that's inside the ball, um, you know, we're not worried about aesthetics so much at the moment. The problem that I see with this, though, is force. Okay, you got, I'm, I'm 200 pounds. If I'm sitting on this thing, these, the forces here are gonna force these bits apart. Mm -hmm. And then if you actually manage to get rolling, it's gonna get much stronger. Like, have you seen, you've seen footage of like people who got in like a, a motorcycle accident or something, and they're going, they always spread out. You can't curl into a ball and hold oh, yourself into right. a ball while you're being flung through the air. Sure. So if you manage to get this rolling at some point, you're gonna start to stretch out. Right. Oh, and if you got well, motion sick too, you'd just be spraying puke all over the place. I don't wanna walk around with this suit in, in uh, whatever form, but. Yeah. Oh, and you wouldn't be able to see while you're in it, while you're in the ball. Ooh, okay, that's a good, Point that we had not mentioned yet. Hmm. Yeah, how on earth? They never explained that in the games. I've never thought about that at all. I mean, obviously, it's a video game. Couldn't mount a camera on it either because uh -uh. the whole thing's spinning. Uh uh. I think I'm done with this mental exercise. Uh huh. I mean, you'd look, you would look ridiculous. And you know what this reminds me of, actually, is, is the droid deca. 
You would look more like a droid Decca from Star Wars. They're the big robots that would roll up and unfold oh, and then shoot. Yes, yes. You, know, you would look you would look so much more like one of those. Right. I mean that hmm. those are my thoughts on how you could make a a functional rolling morph ball suit. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You'd look ridiculous. Yeah, you'd not look like Samus. <laughs> you'd look like a walking <laughs> droid Decca. Um, but in theory and and it's, I mean, it's fairly sound. In theory, you could roll with that. Yeah. And if we were able to transform into some type of a standing suit, then it would accomplish our, yeah. our objective. Yeah, uh, we would accomplish our objective. Yeah. So in short, nope, can't build a functional morph ball suit. Mm. Um, but you could build something that looked absolutely ridiculous mm -hmm. that pulled off the same bullet point checklist. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, now I just want to build it. 